So I have two battery cases for your iPhone 11 Pro. This one here is by Apple itself. This is the smart battery case, and this here is a generic battery case. This one here cost me $130. This one here cost me about $35. You have 1,430 milliamps on here. You have 4,800 milliamps here. This battery case here will basically give me about 50% extra juice on my iPhone 11 Pro. This one here will give me about 150% juice. Now, if I have my iPhone 11 Pro charged up to 100%, this will basically last me one full day. If I'm using this battery case here on here, then basically I'll get about a day and a half. If I'm using this generic case, on here, I basically can use this for two and a half days. So one day and a half versus two and a half days. Now let me show you both of these cases a little bit more closer. They look almost identical. You can see the camel hump that looks kind of similar on both of these. Both of these have this like rubber thing on top, as you can see right there. This one here has the Apple logo. You can look down here. So everything fits in perfectly in both of these. The only thing is with the Apple smart battery case, I mean, first of all, the, one of the big thing is you have this dedicated camera button here. Also, because it is a smart battery case, you don't sit there and have to tell it when to start charging and when not to. It does it automatically. With this one here, you have to do it manually. As soon as your phone starts going down to battery juice and you need to go ahead and charge it, you need to go ahead and tell this battery case that charges, so you basically have to press and hold this down for like three seconds. It'll turn on and it'll start juicing up your iPhone. If you wanted to turn it off, you basically have to press and hold again to turn it off. Again, with this smart battery case, there's no pressing power off or on. Also, this one here, I mean, obviously doesn't have no dedicated camera button. Now, both of these, you can wirelessly charge. Of course, you can charge it while the iPhone... 11 Pro is in there, but you can also charge it naked. Okay, so for instance, if I go ahead and pop this on here, we'll know that this is charging once we see the orange light right there. So we know that's charging. And the same thing with this one here, you can charge naked. And this one here doesn't have a light indicator, but I know it's charging because I can see the uh, red light down here. But also if I put it sideways like that, I can look on the back and I can see that it is wirelessly charging right there. Of course, we can go ahead and use the regular iPhone cable too and we can charge it as well. I can pop that in there. You can see that that's charging with no phone in there. And the same thing with this one here. If I pop, plug this in, you can see the uh, orange light right there, so it's charging the case. Now the thing is, if you use the PD charger that actually came with the uh, iPhone 11 Pro, like the uh, USB-C to the uh, lightning port here, and you use the actual wall adapter, you can charge this one even faster, okay? It won't, it won't work for this one. This one will always charge in standard mode. Now, another thing to note too is if you have a iPhone 10 or iPhone 10s, both of these will fit in here as well, okay? This one will fit perfect. The only thing is if you use it in this case here, now you can see the mute button cut out here. On the generic brand, it's, it's much bigger than the actual Apple brand. So for instance, if I go ahead and use my iPhone 10 here and I pop it in here. I mean, all everything lines up perfectly, okay? Even the uh, mute button here, okay? However, if I put it in the Apple battery case, everything still works perfect here, except you can see the mute button is kind of like halfway covered so you can't really turn the, the ringer on or off. However, everything else on here works perfect. To take the phone out of the battery case, just simply just pop the top like this, flip it over, and then go ahead and slide that all the way out. To put it in, what you can do is just pop it in. It's the same for both phones. Pop it in like that, kind of like tilt the, uh, the top here a little bit, and just slide it down and let it go right into the uh, lightning port right there. And the same thing with this one too. Just go ahead and pop it in like that, and then just go ahead and slide it in. Every time you connect it to a charging port the first time, it's going to show the battery percentage. So as soon as I push down on it, give it a second here and we'll be able to see this only for like a brief second and then it'll disappear. Anytime we charge it again, that's going to pop up. So we'll be able to see how much juice you have left on the smart case. And it shows the actual, how much juice you have on the actual phone as well. You can also use a lightning cable and just pop it in there and you can see it very quickly for a couple seconds right there and then it's gonna disappear. If you wanna see it without having to plug it in or out, you can, if you go into the notifications area, if you swipe all the way down to the right, look on the very bottom here, it says battery here. You can see your, your actual iPhone battery percentage level left, your smart battery case, 
and whatever batteries you have hooked up to here, I have my Bluetooth uh, Apple Watch hooked up to here, so it's showing how much battery juice I have on my Apple Watch as well. If you don't have this on here, just go ahead and click on edit down here, and then you wanna go ahead and click the plus sign to add the battery, and the battery widget should be on this top level here, and once you do that, you'll have it right here. You can also see the lip raise here on the Apple battery case, which I like. So basically, if you put your phone on a flat surface and you move it around, you're not gonna scrape or scratch it. And the same thing with this one too, the lip is raised above the screen, same as the Apple battery case. I forgot to show you, but you can see the mute button is perfectly centered here on the iPhone 11 Pro. But again, if you have an iPhone 10 or 10S, the mute button is gonna be a little bit up. But this one here, you can see how big the mute button slot here is. And they made it like this so that you can fit an iPhone 10, 10S, or even the iPhone 11 Pro. So of course, like I said, you can still wirelessly charge these. Doesn't matter if you have the phone in or actually out of the case. No problem there. We can still charge it via USB cable. Basically what it'll do, it'll charge up the phone first and then it'll charge the battery case second. If you're using the wired earbuds, it's going, obviously it's gonna work for the uh, Apple battery case, but it also works for the generic battery case as well. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this dedicated camera button works, and I'm gonna compare it to no camera dedicated button, just using the phone app camera by itself, okay? So if I want to go ahead and turn the camera on, I can have the phone totally like locked like this, and if I wanted to fire up the camera, just long press the camera button here, basically press and hold it for like one second, and it's gonna pop up, and now I can start firing photos. I can use this button here to take photos. Another thing is too, if I bring it up to video, I can go ahead and use this button here to start and to stop. Another thing that I can do as well is if I just go ahead and open it up first, so let me hold the uh, camera button down for like one second, this will pop up here. Now if I press and hold this button up here, if I hold it, it's automatically starting a it's video recording right now. And as soon as I let go of this top button here, it's gonna stop, okay? Even if I have it like, let's say you have it in photo right here. And of course in photo mode, I can go ahead and just click the camera shortcut button up here. I can take photos. If I wanna take a video, I just go ahead and press and hold down this button here, okay, ready? I'll take a couple shots. Now I need a video, press and hold, boom. I'm recording a video right here and I'm still holding on to the button because once I let go, it's automatically gonna stop. Now, how much faster is it actually having the uh, camera dedicated button on here, okay? Well, let's go ahead and try on this phone here, okay? So if I want to go ahead and fire up the camera here, instead of just going like this, pressing holding one second and then letting go, you're on, you're ready to start shooting. This one here, I basically have to do this. Ready, go, on, shortcut button, and then boom. I can use the volume rockers down here to take the photo, okay? So you can really see it's not really that much time difference. So, so let's go ahead and test this one more time. Let's see how fast I can bring up the uh, camera and start taking photos. We'll start on this one first. Ready, set, go. Pick it up, press and hold one second, boom. I'm already taking photos. Let's go with this one here, ready? I gotta pick it up, shortcut, and then boom. This one definitely is slightly faster, but still not that much faster. I don't think it's really a big deal. Now the biggest thing is $130 versus $35. Of course with this one here, you get a dedicated camera button, which is like a second or a fraction of a second faster to bring up your camera. Another thing is it's a smart battery case, so you never have to press the power on and off, it automatically does it by itself. Once the phone needs juice, it automatically knows to turn this on automatically and start powering up your phone. So that's two great things about this one. However, this with this battery case, it'll only give you 50% extra juice. This one here will give you 150% extra juice. Both of these can wirelessly charge. You can use your earbuds in these, no problem. So which one would I recommend out of these two? I would definitely recommend this one here, okay? The, the biggest thing is, because this one only gives you like 50% extra juice, this one here gives me more like 150% extra juice, and this is more than $100 cheaper. Now the thing is, if Apple was to drop this from 130 to like maybe $60, then I say, you know, it's probably worth it, but the 130 versus $35, hands down again, this is definitely the best bang for the buck.